Greetings everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, please hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. It'll keep great content coming your way, and hopefully you'll come back and visit us. Today, we're going to go out, out of the garage into the basement, because we're going to talk about one of my other hobbies, guns. Last year, I was on Bud's Guns, and I noticed they had this gun, Ruger Wrangler, Titanium Cerakote on sale. It was $199, so I purchased it. Being a big fan of westerns, uh, Clint Eastwood, John Wayne, Tombstone is one of my favorite movies. Plus the TV shows like Bonanza, Gunsmoke, grew up watching them. I had to have it. And that explains the cowboy hat. And I also got this neat rig for it off Amazon. I will put a link in the description. It's even got a cartridge belt for 22 lawn rifle. So, fits in there nice. So, a couple things uh, on the firearm after I purchased it. The Ruger Wrangler comes with these cheap plastic grips. Now, Ruger will send you a coupon with a new uh, firearm for 20% off uh, Shop Ruger, which is their website for accessories. I purchased these Rosewood grips off that website. They were on back order for a while, but boy, they were worth it. It totally changed the way the gun fits in your hand. It's a lot more comfortable. I finally took it out and shot it the other day. It's it's a nice little, I mean, it's not the most, it's a revolver with a four inch barrel on. It's not the most accurate uh, gun in the world, but it's fun to shoot. And with 22 lawn rifle being about the only ammunition currently you can get, it's uh, economical. So, that being said, we're going to go through disassembling it, cleaning it. Um, I'll walk you through that video. However, there's no substitute or any YouTube video for reading the owner's manual on any firearm you own and fully understanding it. Remember, you alone are responsible for the safe handling of a firearm. Not to be, you know, a smart aleck about it, but... You need to make sure the first thing that the firearm is unloaded. And on the uh, Wrangler, like the single action army Colt that it's based off, you've got a loading gate here and you can rotate the cylinder. And I'm verifying all six chambers are empty. As previously stated, make sure your firearm is unloaded. Now on the Ruger Wrangler, you want to break the cylinder out of it. You want to take this loading gate, open it up, turn it over, press this button here. This rod will come out, and the cylinder will drop out on this side. solid coated patches um, using uh, hops number nine which I love love the smell of it yeah I know a little bit of a freak there but <laughs> you kind of grew up smelling this stuff so. definitely the patch. A bit of foul in there. Keep running patches down there till they come out clean. 
getting there. And then at that point, you can run some patches down there to dry the solvent up. And then what I usually do is um, put a light coating of oil in the barrel, uh, which you can always remove before you shoot the firearm. But when I store firearms, I always leave a light coating of oil on them. The, uh, gun as a whole. This, I mean the Cerakote, it's not as critical, it's not a blued gun, but you definitely uh, want to make sure your bore stays rust free. I do have a dehumidifier in my pistol safe and my gun safe, but still just a good practice. I say that's clean. Some of the powder residue out of here with the patch. So. I'll make sure you get all that powder fouling off. It's clean. We'll put a link to the chemicals I'm using here. Uh, the hops, I mean, that's pretty common. Uh, you'll see I got ballista stall there. I swear by that stuff. It is good stuff. We used to have a machinist at work who was also a locksmith, and he was a dealer for it. And he retired, so I want my supply, so now I have to get it offline. the cylinder good. Definitely. Uh, it says right on there 22 to 270 caliber. Obviously they're not. They're too thick for a 22 caliber. solid down to that cylinder. Okay. Wrapping it up right now. I'm going to put some oil in the uh, barrel before I use a ballistic stall. I like this stuff. Like I said, it's good stuff. But it's a good practice to get into uh, making sure the bores are all coated with oil before storage. Like I said, my recommendation is before you shoot, uh, put some hops on a uh, cleaning patch, run it down there, just take the oil out. Now, just put a little bit of oil on there. Lubricate the cylinder rod.
to install the cylinder reverse the procedure open your uh, loading gate place the cylinder back into the frame take the loading rod to press the button it's going to take a little bit of uh, wiggling it around to get the rod lined up be patient Goes. It's in there. Close the loading gate. Make sure the cylinder cycles. A little bit of oil down in here. There you have it. It's ready to be put back into storage. Um, if this wasn't Cerakote, I would, if it was a blued gun, I'd say put a light coating of oil on it to protect the bluing. I will put like a light coat on the cylinder because that's not Cerakote. And that's it. Thank you for watching the video. Like I said before, please like and subscribe. Have a good day and God bless.